Thank you, Tim. The Target 12 investigators also with new details tonight on an alleged fraud scheme involving a student over at Brown University. As we first reported on WPRI.com, the 25-year-old was arrested and charged today, and we've learned one of the alleged victims is a woman in her 70s. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with the details from the newsroom tonight. Now there is one charge involving a $30,000 de deposit into the suspect's account, but the police report we obtained shows that the report indicates close to $200,000 in questionable deposits. The suspect in the case is a Brown University graduate student. 25-year-old Shishuai Lee arrested and charged with one count of obtaining money under false pretenses. Providence police became involved in the case Tuesday, but Homeland Security's investigation began in November, according to the incident report, which details one particular claim. A bank investigator told the feds a $30,000 wire deposit was made into Lee's account from a 74-year-old Orlando woman. The alleged victim said she sent the money to a man she talked with on a dating service who told her he was in his 60s. She told investigators she sent the $30,000 to help him finance the building of a school for underprivileged children. She also said she recalled the name on the account that she sent the money to being Lee but she was not sure of the first name. Investigators say they were able to match Lee's student ID to surveillance images from this Angel Street ATM that showed Lee using the account where the money was sent. Lee told investigators the 30,000 and other deposits were made by a friend who was lending him the money, but he said he had no idea how the friend arranged for the people to deposit the money into his account, and he would not provide the friend's name to investigators. Bail for Lee was set at $3,000 today, and a pretrial conference is scheduled for April. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.